Okay, just another example of adding pictures. Let's go to the rental details page of the website. And over here where we have, we do allow small pets on a case-by-case -case basis. Let's add a picture there. So down at the bottom where we say add picture, we're going to click one time. And I want to put it right here, and then I want the text to wrap around it. So add it here. And I've got to go find a picture. So I'm going to go upload pictures and browse. I'm going to go to my documents. Then I have a folder called Picks for Websites that I'm going to choose from. Okay, and I'm going to get a picture of a dog and a cat together. Here's one. Okay, now it's going to upload and I'm going to hit Done. Boy, that was fast. Okay, it's already on there. Dog, cat, sleeping. So I'm going to come over here and hit choose. Alright, see the little dog and the cat sleeping together. It actually moves. Alright, I want this to be medium sized. Right there. I could probably try it large, but I'm going to leave it medium. And then I'm going to come down here and instead of it being on the left, I'm going to click picture left with text wrapping. Actually, now I'm going to show you the left first. Okay, that's all I'm going to do to it. I'm going to hit done. And then when it pops up on the screen, here's the dog and the cat picture just above where it talks about pets. But I would like for the, the text to wrap around the picture. So I'm going to hit edit picture. And you see where the picture is. Scroll over here to where it says picture left with text wrapping. When you choose that one, I'm not going to worry about a frame going to hit done. Watch what happens. Whenever you come back up to that page, there's the dog and the cat sleeping together and the text is wrapping around it. Now, I really don't like all that space between the text, so I'm going to hit edit text. And I'm going to come and click my cursor there. Hit delete to bring that up. Then I'm going to click it right here. Bring that up. And I'm going to click it right there in that space and bring that up. Then I'm going to hit Done. Now let's see what it looks like. See, that looks much better. See, you've got the dog and the cat there. It's actually a dog hugging a cat. That's one of those animated ones I found on the internet. And if you want to make the picture a little bit smaller so that you don't see only the picture, come back over here and hit Small. And then you can, you can hit done on the bottom right hand part of the screen or at the bottom of your editing screen. See, that's even better. And in fact, let's move it over to the right instead of the left. So edit picture, come down here. Let's move it over here to picture right with text wrapping. And we'll scroll down and hit done. I like that even better. See? You've got that, you've got your text over there, and here's the dog picture. And since he's way over here by himself, let's make him bigger this time. Edit picture. Let's see what happens if we do large. And click done. No, well, it's a little bit too large there. I'm gonna take him back down to medium. Edit picture. Medium. Done. Yep, that works for me. Now, if you don't want to leave the dog on there, you can always take him back off. But since I like the way that is, I'm going to hit Publish to Web. Edit your website. And for right now, we're just going to leave that on there. I think it's kind of cute. Hit Publish to Web. And we're going to go back and work some more.